I really wanted it to be turned into viable. so cool. The big problem, can you imagine taking zoners? Like, like can you imagine just, just fighting T3 Dome with, with a stage like that? Okay, that's definitely the best argument that I've heard exactly. about that. Imagine fighting a zoner where they don't have to worry about bad recoveries. Case in point. Anyways. All right, so Rival has opted for the uh, CSS with more clothes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, play the games, man. I'll just tell you that. Play the games. Anyways, uh, Rival also is Zero Suit Samus main. He has been on the grind a little bit on Wi Fi. He's very active on those on those Discord servers. Quick use of the down smash to back air, and he's got Razo a bit on the ropes here. 108% out. Oh. And he's able to go for that option recovery. Why did he go above the ledge there? I think maybe Razo was trying to catch him with his up B. And yeah. He tried to time it so we can definitely trip with it and stop ZSS from getting the spike hitbox of the flip kick. Okay, yeah, Razo losing the early stock here. Yeah. Rival has also been a long time ZSS player all the way from Spike 4. Him and Jumpsteady have always been in an interesting spot. Yeah, uh, I Jumpsteady used to get them confused, yeah. but don't tell them that. <laughs> Jumpsteady has always been like one spot above him, but I feel like Razo just. I'm sorry, uh. Rival is just slightly close behind. I felt like if these two were to combine into a, a player, they'd be the greatest Zero Suit game there ever was. Well, I don't know if it's because um, we saw Jump City shift between games, but it feels like Rival's movement is a lot more slick right now. Yeah. Also, Rival is really used to going for sometimes empty hops into grabs, or going in for a nair and then beating half a carry for the but CSS has grabbed super slow in this yeah. game. She commits to it, but when you have your opponent conditioned to, for them to hold shield, like we saw between Master Mario and Jump City, um, it'll be open up to grabs too. The one thing we don't really see too much is Paralyzer because we're not that many confirms, but it's still worth going to force your opponent to hold shield. Yeah, and uh, CSS d definitely has a lot of speed. That Nair comes out pretty far in front of her, so you mm -hmm. can sort of pressure a lot of space in front of you. And then, again, like you said, that's just conditioning your opponent to get a grab. Just like we saw right there. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that Rival's a little bit more accustomed to, uh, being the conditioner to get grab combos and then go for grabs and things like that. Versus Jim City, who's very much like touch and go, a couple hits here and there, and then he'll find a confirm off you know, his, uh, his frustrated opponent's aerials. Speaking of Razo, he may even thought Rival was going to be the one in the lead here. Razo up with a stock deficit at 78% to two stocks. It's going in Rival's favor, but unfortunately, Razo brings this back. Oh, he's backing it up. Back down throw. Nice read the DI oh. for the back air. And I think back air from down throw is going to be true up at the certain percents. Rosa has landed five back airs at this point. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's staler than an old piece of bread. That was close, man. I, I, I'll give you credit, but points for trying that, but no cigar. No cigar for Razo's landing there because Rival will quickly tie things up in stock, but not percent. Oh, nice. 32%. He's looking for it, too. Back throw. Down throw. Okay. Nice. I like I like the fact that he went for down throw to for the DI mix-up because it's obvious that Rival's going to DI away. Oh, Razo just tried to confirm weak air and F smash there. Um, that was close. That oh. probably worked to some point. Sense, Rival went for flip kick at the off specific. the stage too because he couldn't have gotten a backer from that deep off and definitely would have killed Razo at 66%. A B. Okay, a B. Yeah, yep, that's it. Do it. It's also because of the weight that um, Peach is because Peach is a lightweight. Yeah. Both these characters very light. Mm -hmm. Are you jealous of my water? My water is bigger than yours. Hey, you Why would I be jealous of your water? Oh, because I don't know, that it's was bigger. Random. I don't know. I thought you laughed at it. Anyways. Oh, um, you just you just assume that every la time I laugh, it's about you. Yes. Wow. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, shout out to everybody who drinks water. I always tell people like the two things I drink at a tournament are always going to be water and occasionally, occasionally it'll Bourbon. be like it'll be a uh, what? No, water and um, Red Bull. I'm not a fan of like other drinks. Although I did try my own new game and I, I kind of liked it. Anyways, enough about what you to drink and turn on. Water is definitely important. Energy drinks are not good for you. Cause terrible crashes. But. Anyways, 
Rival up 1-0 against Razo. This could be the big PR win. We've always talked about Rival being second really, really close to Jump City. Just kind of one thing that he's lacking is he's never been PR, but also he's lacking some PR Ws. And this could be the one that Rival could be looking for. Unfortunately, though, Razo will read that. Yeah, in this matchup, as CSS, you just cannot get nared or down tilted at low percents because like the amount of damage from a combo you get against a good peach main uh is gonna just like you're so light that the next hit that they get could just kill you like that up smash i also feel that because rival has dedicated himself to be more of a zss main compared to gem city's like Paul Pena, he he has a little just a bit more tricks up his back up his sleeve i'm sorry rather than gem city yeah, and I feel like with how mobile uh, DSS can be, like you really shouldn't be getting hit Back by those moves. Ooh, that Ooh. was a really good forward air attempt too, especially because he was go waiting for Ross to go so far off the deep end. Tether grab, wait for the low. Nice, he tried to bait it out there because he knew the one thing that Ross was going to go for his back and he wanted to contest it with his own, sorry. He wanted to contest, oh, Rival wanted to contest fell that. out of the upbeat. It's so unfortunate for Rival right there. Yeah, especially at 151, would have been the spot. Most certainly. Sorry, uh, the edge, we saw Rival trying to go for back air. He wanted to contest Raza's side beat. Punch, <laughs> punch the kick, kick flip with that side beat there. I'm not sure if that was intentional. Nice grab. Nice. We had enough space between that, so we could definitely shield afterwards. Back air? Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely guilty of this. I was playing Peach and, and Daisy. Uh, but Daisy, because she's better. Um, but They're the when same you're in the character. Corner, uh, I said that quietly, so only people who are paying attention would hear it. Anyway, the the thing is, when you have your opponent in the corner like that, it's it's really tempting to go for that uh, side B because it's safe on shield for most characters, and it's a great way to pressure your opponent. Um, plus, it, it, ooh, I'm really digging the spacing that Rival had there. He wanted Raza to come into the area and hit him with the back end of there. Tried to confirm it into it, but he's got 80% on to Razo. Still solid. Oh, re he re grabbed there. Yeah. Razo could have just F smashed him. Killed him. Yeah, he could have punched him for the re grab. Nice no, still living there, even after the turn up. Nice. Yeah. Re grabs the ledge here after the flip kick, using the boost kick to come back on the stage. Oh, what a good cross with the yeah. forward air, too. But unfortunately, he did not hold shield long enough there. Razo's still sitting on 80% with two stocks. Yeah, Razo looking pretty good right now. Nice. He actually paired the falling up air. Yeah, Razo just waiting. Nice. Razo has to get used to those cross ups from Rival too. He's been going for it quite a lot, especially from the ledge too. Nice. Looking for spacing here. Oh, Trying okay. to punish Razo with the back air or get a grab from the landing down throw. Uh, Still good though because look at the look at the much look at the height that Razo sent out at the high percent. Up B will be the nice call out and that's yeah, gonna and kill. Will kill. Because of the weight. Rival evens it up though. Yeah, suddenly he yeah, is looking a lot more doable. Okay. Punches him up there. He's gonna watch the landing, yeah. Picks the platform. Rival's in the corner here. I mean, yeah. I'm just say it's mm. maybe the best plot option is just to wait, but eventually we gotta do something. Nice, and because he had Peach above him, that up smash was gonna avoid being hit by the counter. Yeah, and oh, this is where Peach struggles. I mean, she's a floaty. She just she has trouble landing. Mm, that was that would have been a good opportunity to go for back air. Rival feels each confirm after the other. Oh, I think Ra Razo was just a little slow on that back air there. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. Spaces himself just enough to get avoid the up smash. Razo wanted the call. Like he got it the first stop too. It's there. A little bit of patience. I like how he messed that up. How to miss input? Right there. Mm -hmm. He did. He did. He did. Wait for the, uh, like, he waits for him to go for the deep end, but he doesn't commit to it at all. Side B, side that B. might actually do it, and yeah, it does. It Rival does. with the 2-0 over Razo. Ladies wow. and gentlemen, the man finds the stock for the season and the game for the reason. I thought for sure that.